An update now on those bullet casings found outside the Jacksonville City Hall and a broken window on the fourth floor of City Hall. It was one of our top stories last night. Tonight, First Coast News can confirm the window that was hit is the office for Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry. On your side's Rich Donnelly joins us live now from downtown Jacksonville with the details he's been digging out today. Yeah, that's right, Jeannie. There is a new window in the mayor's office. That glass was replaced today. And now, more than 24 hours after those bullet casings were found, it looks like business as usual here in downtown Jacksonville, right outside of City Hall. In fact, there's even a holiday party in James Weldon Johnson Park just across the street from City Hall. This is what the window of the mayor's office looks like today. The fresh pane of glass is a far cry from the one that had what appears to be a bullet hole in it just yesterday. But what is being done to ensure that the mayor and other city employees who work in City Hall remain safe while at work? That's a question that we brought to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Part of their response was, quote, it is not under our purview to discuss Mayor Curry's security details or costs associated with the same. Wednesday afternoon, security at City Hall seemed unchanged compared to previous visits to the building by First Coast News. At this time, we are waiting to hear back from the city if the new glass that was put in the mayor's office window is in fact bulletproof. Reporting live in downtown Jacksonville, Rich Donnelly, First Coast News, on your side.